Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am featuring a bit of a throwback Thursday to my sewing journal. And this one I'm calling So Pretty. I used a silk fabric on the cover. I just have cardstock inside here, a couple of layers, uh, so it's a bit floppy. I used um, some beautiful rosettes on the spine. A sewing machine applique, buttons, I cut out some flowers from some fabric that I have and embroidered or hand stitched them on there. A silk flower, some more buttons, a vintage button, this really sweet little charm cluster with scissors, a ruler, a button and a rose, some measuring tape, Lots of lace, buttons sewn on, and it's very dangly. It does cascade very nicely. Got some beautiful vintage laces in here. Some sorry silk tie closure. And on the back, another really funky flower applique. Some button trim and some laces. And because this is a throwback video, um, I might not remember exactly everything that I used, but pretty close. So I will do my best to name things as we go. And let's open it up. I zigzagged the edges on this, left all the threads loose, so it's got some rough edges and sewing. Oh, and this little piece in here was one of my scrap uh, sewing sample things, you know, like when you're testing your machine to make sure that it's threaded correctly and so on. And I just thought it would be cute to add it here. I've had that for a long time. That is old fabric. So here we go. I included a, a piece from an old catalog. This is a 17 magazine uh selection it's from Canada and those are the types of dresses that were in style when I was a teenager love it long time ago I've got some upholstery fabric here that I used as a belly band a little tiny tag a charm and I must add that the silk fabric fabric that I used to line the inside of the journal was what I bought to make my daughter's wedding bouquet. And sometime I will share that with you. Um, it was a stunning piece that actually turned out really lovely and there's a story behind it. But this silk um, piece underneath is just absolutely beautiful. So I used several digital kits and some of them were smaller, some of them were larger and I just left them as is. And there's the title. Of this particular journal right there I've got some tags sewn into a little pocket with some vintage lace and the story begins this one is seamstress and I used a lot of quotes this one says and so it begins I did probably about 6 to 12 of these vintage tags, vintage looking tags with some text behind them, part of a doily, paper doily, and then hand stitch the images on to some pretty cardstock. I also got several of these magnetic bookmarks that I used to hold some of the ephemera in place just for something different. And some beautiful charms, there's a gorgeous flower and a silk um, tab, page tab. Making sure I'm in frame here and that I stay in frame. Here's the back side of that magnetic bookmark. And I made several of these uh, journaling cards on the back of tea dyed index cards. I sewed a piece of silk, sorry silk onto them, put an image on there and then stamped each one. Tea dyed pages, of course, and some of them are double-sided. I had them printed double-sided. 
Here's a really cute stick pin with a thimble on it and a mother of pearl vintage button. Some lace, all this decked out on the sides. It's very full, very embellished. This is a flip down where I've just stamped some lines on the page. Got a tag behind it. It says sewing badass. And here is a pocket with some vintage ribbon, some script ribbon, and just a, a rough ripped up edge pocket. It says so pretty. Lots of space for journaling. That's a tight pocket. Here's another one of these journaling cards. It says vintage style. Beautiful silk piece from, that's from Sheila from Boho Daydreams. Just sewed onto the back of an index card. Why buy it for $7 when you can make it yourself for $92 of craft supplies? Here we've got some sari silk ruffled and sewn to the page and then I've sewn on some buttons and another one of these tags this one says vintage style and a pretty little magnetic bookmark lots of pink in here of course this is a little journaling card and it just says always so love sewing machine and one of uh, the embellished pieces from Sheila that I attached to the page as a belly band. Some uh, Tim Holtz vellum and I chose the piece that's got a spool guide, some thread, thread guide on there. Applique of a sewing machine, some lace, and a doily, a couple of doilies and an image. And then I've got these tags that I put together with some paper featuring some shoes and a corset and what I did on to make this top was uh, just used a die one of the spellbinders dies that I have only run it through part of the machine don't run it all the way through so it just makes a top cut this says sentiment says that moment when you realize you ran out of bobbin thread and have been sewing nothing so true. Here's a mason jar pocket. Got some lovely uh, crochet trim at the top with some vintage buttons, an image, and a pair of scissors stamped onto that index card. This one says bobbin along and stitched with love. Some gold trimmed rickrack. Here is a fold over. Uh, double tag and this little label says with love in every thread extra journaling space got another really cool bohemian um, paisley tab trim with a pretty little pink dangle bead some gold threaded lace trim and a gold button most of those buttons I did actually hand stitch on. Quite often I do faux stitching for buttons, but most of these are hand stitched on. And here's these two tags in the center of this signature. We've also got some beads with a button charm and a sewing machine charm on the end. These are ones are quite dangly, pink and purple colors. And I've got these two parchment tags, parchment paper tags that are featuring my haute couture stamps from Dilusions, Diane Reevely. Love her stuff. I use them a lot. And I think I, I don't know if I used different thread for this um, journal or what I used, but I ended up, it started to rip the paper, so I had to just reinforce it a little bit with a tab of washi tape in case anyone's noticed there. 
that does happen. The casualties of journal making. Here's another little uh, label that says 100% homemade. Just uh, a little bit of a lace collage there. Beautiful vintage lace pocket with a button stick pin. And I used one of my Beatrix Potter images here from Taylor of Gloucester. How sweet is that? Little mousy knitting away, darning socks. And another vintage tag. Another one of the flowers that I embroidered uh, on the edges. I just hand stitched it. And some beautiful rose lace here. No, my sewing room is not messy. I just have everything out on display, like a museum. Here's a little pocket with some cute little tags. This is a bookmark, a simplicity, vintage simplicity bookmark. So sweet. I've got two of them in this book. And another little one of these tags using a Spellbinders die topper. Never let a sewing machine know you are in a hurry. Ledger paper. Here's another journaling card. I've sewed uh, some vintage lace on there with some vintage buttons, some stamping, and a beautiful image. This one says, sew a needle pulling thread. I've got a pocket here and a piece of vintage lace applique. Vellum. Here is a um, dress form that I've just wrapped some ribbon around. It kind of looks like a feather boa. And I'm using it as a, a pocket, a tuck spot. There's a vintage tag and a floating pocket with a stamped button card on it. It's part of a set that I have. It's beautiful applique here in a little glassine bag, and I've got a couple of tags in here. A pattern is only a suggestion. Another of these uh, index card, journaling cards. Beautiful piece of embellished silk and an image, and it's stamped with the sentiment that says, we make a perfect fit. Back onto tea dyed paper and stitched. Some fuzzy wool uh, fiber uh, trim and a bead that's stuck in there. This is beautiful turquoise spread here. I really like this page. This is just an applique that I've um, stitched onto here and made these coordinating tags. This one says linens and lace for some extra journaling. And this is a holdover card with a beautiful boot on it. And this one says Vintage Elegance, which is my logo. Finally found out after many, many years that that's my style. That's my decorating style. Didn't know what the name of it was, but now I do. Here's some dangly lace trim at the bottom. And I made this... Um, dragonfly beaded charm to put on this paper clip. It's another little Simplicity Vintage Sewing Machine label and some purple lace trim. Sew with confidence. I've got another piece of Beatrix Potter um, imagery in here. This is from the Taylor of Gloucester as well. Such a beautiful story. I think it's my favorite one. And then I've got this fold over piece on this page that says, I just want to create pretty things and ignore all my other responsibilities, right? So true. I just made, uh, took a half a page and folded it over and did some stamping lines on it. And it just creates a little cute little fold over. And used some burgundy accent colors here. This is one of my die cuts. I used some craft paper and a spool of thread applique. 
a bit of um, burlap, very thick burlap for the tab with a purple tassel. And this is some of my favorite vintage lace. I've used it all up. Absolutely gorgeous with, with a wooden button and a vintage button there. And just these tiny little tags, a sweet little girl in her coat. And we've just got a small pocket here, double pocket, with this beautiful tag. So it seems. Little tiny tag, and it says so cute. And a little um, folder, file folder, so and so. And a button card tag. That's the first signature. And on to the second one. Stitch with Love is the label here with some lace. And another one of these double pockets. I've got a really beautiful pair of um, scissors. That's a Simplicity applique vintage lace and a tall tag in the back. Sewing is harder than it seems. I have been sewing since before I went to school. Not that I'm great at it, but I'm comfortable. It's like riding a bike, you just do it. I've got a German back speaking background and my grandmother used to sew clothes for us and we always had to go over to her, her place to anpassen which means to try on what she was making for us. So that's got special meaning for my family there. Beautiful sari silk uh, ruffle, and it says ribbons and ruffles here. A little tiny tag, and it just says zip it on this one. A little pocket with a beautiful sewing machine image, and this is a fold over card that says so and so. Here is a beautiful journaling card with some lovely silk and an image and stamped with the words craft worthy. And we've got a little envelope here with some scissors stamped onto it. Some beautiful fabric here, some lovely boho colors and some purple buttons sewn on. And this is a tiny envelope with a wee tag inside with some stamping on it. And that's that page. Lots of journaling space, of course. I always try and do that. Include that. Some measuring tape ribbon, grain ribbon. A little bit of a lace cluster here, and this label says, with love in every thread. Vellum, beautiful image, the measuring tape on the side, vintage style. Here's a pretty pink tag that says, so pretty. Double-sided. This uh, journaling card has some beautiful silk here. The image and vintage finds stamped onto it, the back of an index card. And a bit of vintage lace applique. This gorgeous um, satin applique, a glassine bag, and we've got a double pocket here. Floating pocket inside of a pocket. And this one says pinking shears. And we've just got some fiber trim in the top. And another journaling card that says, can I borrow your fabric scissors? Hell no. Somehow they always get somebody sneaking them. But they can be sharpened, right? Here's another flip down that I've got. This tag says surge ahead. For those of us that use a serger. Here are some... Um, a dictionary page 
And the reason I would have included this would be, must have some kind of a sewing word in there somehow. But it's tea dyed on the back and just tucks in there nicely. And this can be journaled on, stamped it with some lines. Here we've got a beautiful piece of blush lace trim with another flower that I have embroidered or hand stitched the edges. Little tag here and it says darts and tucks. Sewing vocabulary I used. Stitched with love. Happiness is making it around that last corner and down the home stretch. Don't we know it? And here is a lovely journaling card with some tan colored crochet lace some beautiful vintage buttons and a sewing machine stamped on and the image sewn on as well. And dangling button and pearl trim at the bottom of this page. Behind this mason jar, we've got another vintage tag and a lovely magnetic bookmark, page holder, some tags, a cute little dress form, mannequin. Sewing mends your soul and I'll be darned. Got another bit of blue here, this page layout, with an applique heart with lace, a label that says Simplicity Vintage, a button card, and this tag says it's all fun and games until the thread falls out of your needle. Beautiful antique lace here. Made a tab out of it, sewed some vintage buttons on, and used a sewing machine stick pin. I believe I got those stick pins at Hobby Lobby in their sewing section as the bookmarks I did as well. Another lovely vintage tag in this gorgeous lace, vintage lace pocket. Hope you can see this here. And I've just pinned a, a little bead onto the side. Here's another one of my sample sewing patch um, pieces that I included in this journal, along with the applique that says sewing. Sewed some buttons on here. This one's vintage and a couple of pretty tags. I keep fabric, um, you know, when you buy a new garment and some of the tags are just so incredibly beautiful. This is organza. So I just kept it and used it in this journal and a button tag. Measure twice, cut once, curse, repeat. Some ledger paper, a pocket with another paper doll, Simplicity Vintage Pattern Lady. So cute. And a tag with a sewing machine stamped on it. And this one says, so what's your point? another index card, journaling card. It's beautiful silk, the image, and stamped with quality buttons sewn onto the back. And a little tag that says, oh darn. All these skills, you know, my, my mother taught me a lot. Her mother taught her for generations. We've learned how to take care of our clothing and fix them and sew them and and just hope that those skills are passed on to the future generations so that they'll know how to do what to do even if they just have to hem their pants this is a little journaling card it says sewing notions inside here that cute little image there and this is a piece of vintage lace of course I have sewn on some beautiful vintage buttons and included another stick pin with a dress form on it. Some of these are so fragile, these vintage buttons that I've got. They actually are cracked or the piece in between the shank there has broken, but you can still use them. They're beautiful. The colors are so unique and they really are identifiable as vintage. 
Another cute little bookmark. This sentiment says, sewing fills my days, not to mention my dining room, bedroom, and closets. And here we've got a little doily fold over with a wide magnetic bookmark of a sewing machine. Pedal to the metal. And this beautiful pink tag. And we have this beautiful image here of the dress forms. Some more vellum and another dress form on this side as a pocket tuck. This is a journaling card and it says, so gifted. And a bud card. Some fibers sticking out. And here you've got a pocket because this dangle here is quite heavy. What I did was I sewed it onto, or I actually glued it onto another piece of cardstock and then onto my tea dyed page just for stability. But I really love these colors, gorgeous. A little bit of vintage applique there. The art of searching for items you just had two seconds ago. Sweet little image here with some lined on the back for journaling and a piece of silk fabric tab with a pair of scissor charms on a bulb pin. And we've got this little pocket here with some lace trim, an envelope with a collage that I made with some book page, music paper, cheesecloth, lace, um, canvas paper, flower, and a vintage button sewn on there and some stamping. And inside I've just got this half sheet of paper of a digital image, tea dyed paper, for extra writing space. And a little tiny tag that says Sheer Madness. And a pretty little perforated tag on that side. And on this side, we've got this little card. And there's little birds in a nest that says Gathered Together. And it's lined and fold out like that for extra journaling space. I just love this image. In a pocket with a little vintage lace applique. And I believe this is the last page. I've got some lace that I um, thread some silk ribbon through, attached a button, the um, magnetic bookmark, and just an extra piece of cardstock that's stamped with the word noteworthy. And this is my sewing journal coming to an end. I also included some tags here. This is a fabric tag where I stitched that on to canvas paper and added some colorful fibers at the top. This is a travel sewing kit. That's from Anthropology. Their stuff is so cool and useful. Great idea. Cute little package. And it just says, sew. And then I included this, which is an explanation of some stitching like embroidery stitches. I just thought it was really cool. And my logo right there. And back into a vintage lace pocket with another stick pin and some beautiful buttons. Fabric button, that's a Laura Ashley fabric button. And that's the end of my So Pretty Junk Journal. I have hope I hope you have enjoyed going through it together with me, and I do thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.